So, first day back to school, how was it? It was pretty crisp. For the most part, we got smooth around. And just what I'll receive when we get on, get on film and see what the uh, missed assignments were. But I thought we had a pretty crisp practice. Again, uh, I think they prepared pretty well uh, over the last couple of days. Um, continue to build. Uh, Speedy's not here. Mm -hmm. Can you shed some light on that? He just has he just has a, a family issue that he's that he's dealing with. He, as soon as he gets it dealt with, he'll be back up. Is there a timeline for his return? Uh, well, hopefully pretty soon. Yeah, but uh, uh, we're not we're not we're not pushing it because we're we're sensitive to you know, to everybody in their situation. So uh, he'll be, he'll be back up he'll be back up shortly. Okay, but it's there's nothing. It's not contract related. He's not no, happy. No. Oh, he's not. No, 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 it's, no, no, it's just no. it's it truly it, no. It truly is a family issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not obviously at liberty to, to share any detail about that. I want to talk about the veteran exempt list. Is that just a way to um, make those injured guys not count against uh, camp numbers? No, they give you they give you, they give you the spots to allow guys that are you know, in in, you know, in in theory it's for guys that are close to being ready to play but aren't quite ready to play, and they don't count against your 75 that, so. Is there any difference between putting them on the veteran exempt versus putting them on the sixth game? Well, if we, we, put, them on, you know, we put them on the sixth game, and we used up a six-game spot, that if they're ready sooner than that, then we got to roll back to retroactive all the way back to day one, so that's, that's, a, that, that's a cap issue. Okay. Is there, a, is there a timeline or a timetable for Zach's return now? Do you have a sense of when he could potentially be ready? It don't, yeah, I don't. That's 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 based on the next uh, update from the doc, which mm -hmm. he hasn't had yet. So. Okay. Do you have a, a, a date in your head might, that you're holding? I might. For? I might. I might. Do you want to? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. 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 Could that date change depending on how you do in the first few games? Or a couple oh of no, 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 no. It's going to change based on his health. Yeah, no. This is about this is about Zach's health and, and, and long term, you know, uh, health for us and, and make sure that we're doing right by him and his career and I'm doing right by the organization. So we won't we won't we won't force him back any sooner than, than he needs to be. You have two kickers on the camp rosters or plan to bring in more or are those the two Uh there there was. We had a late departure, very, very late. Um, that, that surprised us. Uh, we got another opportunity, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But most likely, we'll probably bring in another kicker at, at least. You've been through a bunch of camps that have rookie camps and don't have rookie camps. Advantage of being able to hit the field for the first time today to see those guys? Well, I mean, if you don't have the numbers to run rookie camp, then it doesn't really make sense to do it. All you're doing is you're, you're, you're giving a lot of guys, uh, very few guys, a lot more reps, and then day three or four, they're, they're struggling. So. We use that time. If we had numbers, we would do it on the field. I'm talking about. Uh, otherwise, just make it classroom time and a lot of film work and uh, get them prepared that way. Without those numbers, though, progressive three however many days you had with the guys in the classrooms and going through film, you thought? Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, I think you saw the evidence today. I mean, we didn't we didn't really have any problems with alignments and, and spacing and those types of things. So. Um, Good job by the coaches getting the guys ready. Well, so you also had a rookie mini camp end of April, right? So yeah, the OT, yeah, the OT, yeah, the OT, yeah, that that helped a lot because uh, we have a lot of those guys here. Yeah, and um, that that obviously there was some carry over there, and it was um, fairly recent, and right? so it wasn't something that was held a long, long time ago where you would you wouldn't remember a lot, you wouldn't retain a lot of the, the information. You get excited on first day of camp still? Of course. Yeah. Oh man, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it, it's. You know, we get to do this for a living, right? It's football, so it's pretty special. What would you grade the overall energy level? I thought the energy level was pretty high. Yeah, pretty high. Well, ask me day four <laughs> where, the, where the energy level is, but really good today. Really good. Thanks, Thanks for